Hello, welcome back to this clip where we talk about tables in Excel. And you may think, what's a table? Isn't Excel already a table? Well, not quite, because tables are a technical term, a technical thing that keeps data compact together. So um, as of now, all the rows are um, a rather loose combination of uh, data. And if we insert tables, um, that tells Excel, hey, this is a data set and you should keep the data together. Um, and uh, yeah, well, uh, the reason that I'm stressing tables so much is um, primarily historical uh, because a few versions back Excel had a few bugs that caused us a lot of pain. And um, the fact that we could insert tables saved us from a lot of um, extra work. But they do very good things and I'm illustrating a couple of those. So to um, illustrate, if you are in a data set that it's coherent, it has no empty rows and it's no empty columns, you can insert tables in two ways. You either go via the menu and then insert table or you can go via the tab insert and then select table. And that gives you a dialog because Excel will guess what data set you want to put into this table. And in this dialog, dialog box, you can ignore uh, the complex formula here. Uh, keep that uh, checked if your first row is um, or contains the names of your uh, variables or the column headers and click OK. So that will um, insert a table and you can immediately see that by the color coding that comes with it. If you don't like that, you can change the color uh, to anything that you like and you can also go back to um, a light format. That's the same um, as before, um, which I previously used, but I have grown to actually quite like the alternating colors that you see here. They're quite useful um, and easy on the eye if you code a lot of data. Okay, and if you click somewhere outside the table, uh, you see the, the compact data set that is now um, in uh, this table and the end of a table is indicated down here by this little blue uh, corner. And if you hover over that, this black corner props up where you can actually extend uh, your table um, if you wanted to. Let's undo that. Uh, but if you're in the uh, next row and enter new data, Right, that would all automatically be um, added to the table. So let's undo that as well. Um, the same goes for columns. If you added another factor that you wanted to annotate, such as favorite animal, right, uh, you could do that as well. It would automatically be um, added to the table if it's in an adjacent column. Now, what's the good thing or the positive thing that this one does? Well, um, if we undo the table altogether and um, redo the actual length analysis that we had. So remember in the last clip, we um, added the values, but if we do the, the same thing that we did before with length for A2, for the column A, it will only do that for the cell that I'm calling this function on and then I would have to um, either double click it down or drag it down. Now with a table, uh, sort of insert a table. Yep, that's my data set. If I now enter the function in a cell here, length A2, it will now assume that because you entered a function that you want to apply the function to the entire column. So that has a major advantage. So imagine you had a data set of hundreds or thousands of rows and you would have to um, drag it down. I mean, you could double click it down would be very easy. Uh, but because it's a function, it applies it to the entire column. So that's pretty neat. If you wanted to um, delete the column like out uh, without a table um, if you just deleted the data that would delete the data but it would kind of keep a bit of the column and the same here if I deleted the data in here it actually keeps the column so if you wanted to get rid of the column uh, you would select the column 
and then go back to the home uh, tab and then uh, select delete here and that would delete the column. There are a couple of things that we will come back and uh, forth to uh, the table function, but generally that's one of the first things that I ever do in uh, when I import data uh, or a data set from outside is that I convert it into a table to avoid a couple of problems. So we see that throughout the tutorial, um, I may actually point out what um, things that you can do that are specific or unique to tables.